Well, more, okay, I said, I was about to say good morning, it's actually afternoon. I just had lunch, but I think it's time to start on this thing. I decided I'm going to make a few modifications, not just change out the motor, but changing out the motor will be the primary thing. I think I'm going to uh, change up the handle, do away with this connection, and weld some bars that come back and go down to the uh, wheels down here and then a cross member between them because I do not like the fact that this mill it wobbles side to side something terrible when you're cutting and uh, I'm just uh, I'm just done with that I'm thinking that that uh, extra bracing on the back having two more posts back there should reduce if not eliminate that uh, issue so the cross member itself will be the big one uh, big reducer so Let's uh, fire up the tractor and carry this thing over to the shop where I can work on it. Let me see if I can clip you up here so you'll get a view. Hope this works. Uh, i get my gloves on. I also have a new microphone, so I'm hoping that the, the audio comes out better than previously. And that's it. It was that simple. And now we have it in the shop. So, all right, well, let me get uh, resituated and we'll start peeling the old motor off of her. All right, talk to you in a minute. Okay, so I guess the uh, next thing is going to be to get the blade off of it because I'm not going to be getting that motor off unless I can get the belt off and I can't get the belt off unless the blade's out of the way. Oh, guess I had to get the new motor out of the way too. Oh, I got to get that thing down there to loose. Uh. All right, well, let me get you around the other side and show you how this motor loosens up, loosen up the belt, and then I can unbolt the motor, 
take that uh, clutch off of there with the pulley, put it on the new one, disconnect the throttle cable, all that good stuff. Oh, you got, we'll get, we'll get to that. Anyway, yeah, let me switch places here. Okay, so this little nut right here on this bolt runs a carriage underneath this mounting plate that puts tension on the belt. As you tighten this, it tightens the belt. So first I'm going to back it off, but you're going to see it's not going to move a whole lot because, yeah, I haven't loosened the motor mounts yet. Now we can loosen the motor mounts. And the motor will move right over. And then I can just reach over here and pull that belt out of the way. Maybe. <laughs> Nope, I haven't moved far enough yet. Well, I think I can get that socket on this now, which makes things a little easier. There we go. Yep, that's all we needed. Okay, now I gotta get the uh, throttle cable disconnected. And since I didn't bring a regular Phillips screwdriver out here with me, but I do have this little guy with me. There we go. All right. And was there anything else? I think that's it. Now we just take the motor mount bolts out, and this puppy is off of here. Keep those together, because I'm going to need them when I put the other one on. Now, like I said, there's really nothing wrong with this motor other than it won't idle. Uh, but I have another machine that never runs at idle, because it's always going full blast when it's going. And so this motor is going onto that machine. Oh, that one's grabby. And the other one, the new one, is going onto this. And it's a chipper shredder is what it is. It's an old, oh god, it must be from the 30s, I think. That's the uh, thing that it tensions with. All right. One last check to make sure I got nothing else. All right, we're good. And there it is. Not a heavy guy. I kind of figured it would be heavier than this. But anyway, I gotta figure out how to get that thing off of there. Hopefully it uh, just comes right off. I don't know if I have a uh, puller that will pull it if it won't. So anyway, back in a second, guys. All right, so I got you down here with me now. Oh, let's see if we can get that thing loose. I don't even know if I got the right size socket on here. I guess I do. That's cool. Of course, it's not going to slide off easy. It would be that way. And is there a set screw on that thing? Nope. That's good. Well, uh, I'm afraid to pull on this part, but that's what I'm going to have to do because the only puller I got isn't big enough to go any bigger. This is actually not even made for uh, this type of... Uh, Deal. I won't even go wide enough. There we go. I might have to take that uh, 
bar out of there. Nope, not gonna work. Uh, let's see, what do I do then? I take something small enough to go there. Like a socket. Oh, it's sliding pretty easy. And just the outside, uh, just the covers coming off, not the. I was afraid of that. Gotta pull them as two different pieces. Oh, lovely. All right, I'm gonna need a deep well socket apparently, though. There we go. Got the bell off. Doesn't look like it's in bad shape. Now I gotta get that part off. I don't even have a clue how I'm gonna do that. I don't think that's gonna. Well, if I bent those little deals, I bet I could do it. Let's try that. <laughs> Give me just a sec. Okay, so I bent the. Uh, legs on the puller. <laughs> I mean, if you got a tool that's close and it don't quite go, make it go. So I made it go. Still don't know if it's going to do it or not, but at least it's worth trying. All right, starting to grab. Does not appear to be sliding yet. I think it's just bending the legs. That's what it's doing. It's pulling the clutch apart. That's not going to work. Well, I guess I'm going to be going to buy me a polar because uh, there ain't no way. Otherwise, I'm going to get that off of there. <sighs> yeah, like I need to go buy another tool. I, I need that about as bad as I need another hole in my head. I got all kinds of tools. I even have pullers, but I just looked all over the shop, both shops, and cannot find them, so I have no clue where they're at. And it's just going to be faster to go buy a new one, I guess. Uh. All right, folks, back in a minute. So finally, after all the grief of hunting for a puller, and nobody had the right kind of puller, so I got a wheel puller that uses bolts, and I made a metal plate to go on behind here. And after a wee bit of coaxing, I have finally started to get it to move. I did not film all of that because it was just taking way too long and wasn't going to make for interesting film. So this, however, is coming off now, finally. And guess what? Only the clutch part's coming off. The collar behind it is not. So now I gotta get that off. Ah, cool, it's just a spacer, yay. Holy crap, man. What a pain in the butt. <laughs> Pardon my French. I actually, as a former Marine, have a really foul mouth, so I make an extra effort not to cuss on my channel, but I slip now and then, so forgive me. Yeehaw! Okay. Now I can get this out of the way. We can pull that other one out. I'm going to have to clean up the sawdust on the, uh, on the uh, mill, too. Oh, nice.
big pile of greasy, juicy sawdust there. <laughs> Gonna have to get that cleaned up too. Anyway, back in a second. All right. Let's get this little dude out the box. Oh, of course, I pick up a dull chisel. There we go. Three hundred and one CC Predator. box out of the way here. There it is. So I am going to have to figure out I think I just have to loosen that nut on top of that so that this uh, moves freely so that when I hook the cable up to it when you release the uh, yeah, when you go to idle on the throttle, it'll actually go back to its position. So let's actually do that real quick here. What is that? Uh, three eighths. No, no, no. Show me 10 millimeter. What am I thinking? Affirmative. Yep, that's all I had to do, is loosen that little guy up a little bit, and now it works the way I need it to on there. So, and I can turn this around. Get off, and I don't believe I'm going to need that. I'm going to reuse that, because it's short. Spacer. And then... Maybe. May have to take that key out of there. Use one key to remove the other key. You know what I'm going to do. I believe I'm going to take this over to shop and run a uh, round wire brush on a drill through it a couple times and get the uh, little bit of rust that's in there out of there. That'll help. So, bear with me, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so, I actually ended up getting in there with some 150 grit sandpaper because it was uh, in worse condition than I thought of there. It was still not too bad. It was mostly metal, but there was just like one ring of rust that was Making things difficult. Yeah, that's much better. Yay. One step closer. And where'd my soccer for that dude go? There it is, I think. Nope. That's this one. Yeah. And we're back together. Okay, well, I guess I'll get the uh, stuff cleaned up on the mill 
and we'll come back when I'm ready to put this thing back on. All right, so I didn't make it spotless. I just got the chunks off of it. And uh, I guess we can set this motor back up there and get the belt on it. Uh. Fun part of this, I got to go through breakthrough all over again because it's a new motor and has yet to have been run. Although it's been sitting here in the metal shop for almost two years. <laughs> this was not my intended use for it originally. We have a big old Toro tiller that uh, that uh, needs a new motor. And I had actually bought this to put on it. But then they, we got the tractor and borrowed a uh, pull-behind tiller for the tractor. And it's like, I really don't need to fix that tiller now, do I? <laughs> Uh. Oops, I didn't want to get it tight now. Okay. I've seen other guys put bigger motors on these. They had to modify the the uh, motor mount, and I toyed with that idea. But then I already had this motor that originally had been bought for another reason, and it was kind of like you know, just a new motor would be an improvement. So. That's the capability of that. Am I going the right way? Yep. And a little more. I probably ought to be putting a new belt on it too, but... Oh, how bad is this thing? Eh, it'll be all right. It's got a little bit of wear. But it's still riding above the rim of the of the uh, wheel, so... Uh, for those that don't know, this particular mill, the belt goes around the drive wheel and the, the blade actually goes over the belt. So the belt, the, the blade is riding on the belt on the wheel. So the wheel's groove is just deep enough, the belt sticks up above it. So it's time to replace the belt when the belt actually gets down to where it's not above the rim of the wheel. So right now it is. I've actually, this is actually the second belt that I've had on this thing in, I think I've had it six years now. So it's not like they go through them real fast and I'm not like out cutting every day or, or even every week these days. In fact, I haven't got to do anything for the past year with it because, uh, uh, yeah, health problems. We're not going to go into that. Anyway, <laughs> I'm trying not to focus on that kind of crap right now. <laughs> so that's off. And that is start. And that is run. And then this is fast and slow. On and off. It is the same exact motor that was on here. Uh, the exhaust is exiting out that way. Uh, the old one had a port on it that you could change the direction, and this one does not have that. That means that exhaust is going to be blasting right on this all the time. I will probably make a bracket or a deflector that goes over that and forces it to go up. That's what the, the other one had a plate that you could turn, and it would it would force it to go up if you wanted it to. So, or maybe I'll just take the plate off of that one and screw it onto here. You know, something. Anyway, we'll figure that out later. Next is, I don't know if you can see that. Here, I'm going to pull you over here where I can see, see the camera better. 
Oh no, you weren't going to be able to see that. Ha! So next is to take that handle off and uh, build the... Oh shoot, if I take the handle off, I lose my measuring device there, don't I? Well, we'll just have to make up a new one, won't we? Not like I haven't done something like that before. Okay, so we're going to take the handle off, and I'm going to find some steel to make the rear part of the frame with, and then try to get everything tied together, and then we'll put that handle onto a different place, and we'll just probably move the Thank you. 